Hello, my friends. Welcome to the continuation of Rames Janor's a mag a magic magical adventure through the Scrapulu Kector. Scrapulu Kector. Yes. <laughs> we have moved past zero hour. We're in the Hyperion. We can get some upgrades, and we get to choose where to go. I am. Very lost, very confused, and very concerned about the future. I don't exactly know what I want to get, and I don't know where I want to go. I haven't felt this feeling of unknowing in a long, long time, and that excites me. Every single place that we get to go is a new experience, and I just don't know what tools I want to get. Usually in a custom campaign, you know, you just click on it and then you have a list of options, but this is so open-ended, it's great. What do we want and where do we want to go? I think I want to head to the evacuation first because the evacuation is not as hard. I don't want bunkers on the evacuation. I'm going to need tech labs. If, if I was a betting man, I would say that given there's probably the meme potential here, Fire bats are going to be required in some sort of way. So I'm going to say that advanced medic facility is not necessary. Instead, I'm going to get the combat shields. And then we're going to head to the bridge and check Major out General the Staff. evacuation. So one of the reasons I want to go to the evacuation first, A, it's easy generally, and B, you always start out the campaign with three Zerg research. This is something I didn't actually know until like a month and a half ago. But it means that the first, you can only make fire bats. Wait. Okay. Well. Wait, what? Oh. They weren't kidding when they said you can only make fire bats, huh? I can. Our allies are being attacked. Is that going to be the truth for <laughs> for my <laughs> command center as well? <laughs> because these can build. <laughs> Wait a moment. <laughs> this might be more fire batty than I thought. Um, <clears throat> combat shields is not going to be that good here, boys. Our allies are what? Being attacked. Okay, I'm getting all the money beforehand, all the cash of Ruha, all the dollar he dues. Well, we're gonna wreck these Zerglings. And I guess that I can use my fire bats to build an engineering bay to make missile turrets for the mutas. If these turn into fire bats. Thank goodness you're here. Control of the main building so you can help us evacuate the colony. Alright, I'm not mining. <laughs> I guess I don't get that much money, do I? <laughs> can we power build? No, we can't. <laughs> I told you. In the intro, I told you. This is exciting because I never know what I'm going to get. And even when I tell you, oh yeah, it's going to be fire bat related, I could, I could never have, I could never have. The first convoy from Lark's Crossing will be moving out soon. I'd be building with my fire bat. Oh, goodness. I am not going to have a good time with money, am I? Really hope you can beat this mission with about 12 fire bats. Someone had the right idea of building bunkers. I'm going to salvage that because there's no way, especially if we can't repair it. The Dominion military oh, wait, you can gather with fire bats? They didn't give a damn oh. Sorry to hear that, Doc. What? At least these bunkers are in a good spot. I'll see if we can't get a man. Oh, look at that. Don't stop for anything. Let's roll. Wait a moment. I have an idea. Oh, I can't tell if they have money or not. Because they don't hold minerals. I was going to use the return cargo trick, but it might not be possible here. So what we have to do is escort the colony, and then we have to head back and... Uh, our workers are garbage. Everything we have is garbage. 
What? Oh. I... I've messed up really badly. I can say that to begin with. You know what? I'm going to send about these guys back, and I'm going to assume that four fire bats plus this stuff is enough for the first convoy. Here we go. That's another worker. I wish the command center could at least build fire bats. I think that would help out a lot, because then I'd have that initial production. Hmm. It'd be cool if you got, like, the Firebat upgrades temporarily, if you had the, like, had the upgrade, or, uh, you got the bonus objectives, you know? Then they could be useful. Oh, gosh. And we head over here, and let's get another Rax. I cannot beat that. My firebats aren't good enough. But that's fine. Is it? I, in the end, we're just buying really, really expensive workers, right? And then we're doing a completely normal composition. If we didn't want to win. Why not get so stupidly funny? A long haul to the stop. I can't, I can't believe the intense quality so far between Rames Janor and just the Thor's killing me early, and then nothing, nothing is reasonable here, and it's all great. The convoy is almost ready to go, Commander. Please alert your men. I'm not ready to go, lady. Like, at all. Does this look like a base that is ready to move out? My workers take 30 seconds to build and cost gas. This isn't... This isn't good. Luckily, I almost have all my upgrades. I can't believe that... I'm never going to be able to beat that roach. I don't know how many fire bats it takes to beat a roach. Hmm. Oh, we might have to restart. Get to the starport! Move it! Do I restart right now, or do I try to be a man and beat it anyway? I'm gonna take the dumb decision and try to be a man. We have three racks SCV production going, which is great. We might be able to saturate someday. I know that if you go over here, there's like a bunch of money. I don't know how a bunch of money it is. It might be a little bunch. It might be a bigger bunch. But any bunch is good. I can actually lose a good bit here. If I lose like half of this, I think it's fine. Or not half, but I think you can lose four guys before you have to do the extra trip. So if the APC dies, that's okay. If three of the civilians die, that's also okay in this trip, assuming that during that time I manage to rebuild. Or get my economy going, I guess. There definitely, if this got a public release, would have to be a, like, big thing that tells you, dude, your firebats can mine. Please pay attention to this, it's very important. Because I could see a lot of people getting very confused and very dead as a result. One. Okay, we're gonna lose everything here. Three auto turrets. Four. Thank goodness. And we're gonna get this money up here. Hey. No. That didn't work. What else do I do? Oh. That's a bad rally. They're all following each other. This guy's gonna be permanently retired. Commander, another convoy. Alright, I am fully saturated. It only took me eleven minutes. Okay, this depot's building. This depot's building. I'm actually gas starved. I'm sure that if I find even a 
single gas pallet, that won't be a problem for the rest of the mission, but right now it's a little bit problematic. So the roach here is dead, which is actually great. It means that I can... Oh, I actually grabbed the chrysalis somehow. Good, good. Let's get these, and I'm not sure that five is enough. I'm going to bring ten total fire bats, and then I'm going to rally over here. And that might be enough. Given that I am so starved on minerals anyway, it might be okay. How do I beat the Nidases? It's going to be hard to fight over to those. Pretty easy so far. Alright, that's fine. There's no Nidases this time. Are there more Lings, or is this just a really Ling-heavy map? Uh, here comes the ultimate fight of destiny. That was about 25 shots to kill. That means that we're going to have to do another escort, right? I think so. And that means that there's an Ultralisk. I think. That's going to be devastating. Oh, Mutus. Yeah, okay, I'm dead. Maybe I can kite them this way and we'll at least be able to get the colonists out. No. Alright, we got a full restart. Yeah, you gotta tell me that I can mine with fire bats. That's not a very intuitive piece of information. But we will live, we will survive, and we will thrive. Fight fire with fire. Yeah, don't get those upgrades really early. I need the extra racks so I can build bats, worker bats. Try to keep everything alive, and then see if I can mine and, like, mineral trick guys back. I don't know how it works with their target priority, but I can only assume that it's perfect. And that nothing will go wrong at all. If we win this with mineral tricking fire bats, by the way, this is going to be the greatest thing ever. So we got hut, we got hut. Let's get them bunched up. Now come a lot of zerglings. And then there's a little bit of cash ruha up here. And we can start this up again. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. This is going to be fine. So part of it, it looked like they stopped mining last time, which is why I thought that I couldn't, because they don't have an animation. And that caused me my initial bout of confusion. They, it looked like it was just, oh, they were mining as SCVs and then they stop. If that makes sense. I hope it does. So let's get this going. I only need like three or four fire bats the first time. We figured that out. And we can focus on everything else. We have enough money for eight fire bats. Or rather enough gas before we have to start mining. The first convoy from Lark's Crossing will be moving out soon. Lark's Crossing is pretty cool because Lark's are birds. And I like birds. Do you guys like birds? What's your favorite bird? The Watson is pretty cool. Yeah. I don't remember many other birds. I took ornithology, but it doesn't mean that I remember ornithology. I remember really enjoying ornithology, but it's not nearly as cool as ichthyology. So what are you going to do? You know, it's hard to compete with fish, which is why they went onto land in the first place. All right. This is 10 fire bats. Don't stop for anything. Let's roll. We're going to get one, two, three, four undamaged friends to go. And we're going to make sure that they all mine a piece. And then they help out. And I really hope the mineral trick works. 
There's going to be gas on the way. The right oh, yeah, some money. Forgot about that. Why are they empty? It's more the fire bats. I keep looking at my supply and going, oh, I could build one worker because all my stuff is even supply. <laughs> and then it will work out more perfectly, but no, I cannot. Return cargo. Yes, it worked. <laughs> we'll get that money on the way back. And we're not going to try to get the bonus objective right here. We're going to wait. That was actually good. Oh, you guys aren't mining. Oh, no. I uh, I did that thing where you set your rally for your combat units on a place that isn't your mineral line. How dare I? What a fool. Well, I really hurt my economy as a result. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that'll be a full economy right there. But I'm still not sure it was fast enough, especially with the supply block. I'm not used to having to build depots this fast with just economy building. That's another problem that I'm having. It's a long haul to the starport, partner. So I think that for this bonus and this bonus, I'm going to have to wait until, like, escort number four is done. Just delay it a really, really long time. You don't get any benefit from doing it early, so... The next convoy is almost be ready to go, Commander. Please oh, alert goodness. your men. Already? Dr. Ariel Hansen? PhD? They actually build kind of fast. 30 seconds isn't that bad. I think it's the same as a Marauder, but it's the same as a Depot, which is nice. So how many guys am I going to have to pull right here? That is the real question. I'm hoping... Maybe we'll pull like five... Uh, six. Get to the starport! Move it! Fueled up. Need a light. You got my... Ready to roast. Need a light. Fight fire with... Ready to say the word. So I can't tell which ones have minerals and which ones don't, but we do have the ability to mineral trick some people, and that might be able to help us out. We're going to set the rally over here. And this is a decent army. In fact, my economy is way better than it was before. Okay, you need to be retired. Let's see if we can get a couple friends to help out. Uh, part of it is just my movement speed is glacial here, and it's causing me a lot of issues. Then I'll trick him. And then move forward real aggressively. Fight the Lings. We're going to stutter step the Lings. Lose as few as possible. Try not to lose these guys. They're my beautiful, beautiful friends. Oh, roaches, man. They're so ridiculous. Who even invented roaches? What a jerk. Well, that was okay. All we lost was the APC. That's one call and is dead. All the rest is something. So we want these guys out. We want these guys to mine. These guys to mine. We're going to mine with these and pull them out. And then check how many workers we have that are on money. Commander, another convoy will be heading out soon. So we want you guys to mine and then pull you out. And then the rally is going to keep building. So this time we need turrets, though. We're going to move up forward and start building a couple of them. 
as we rebuild this economy. How many more guys do we have that are not damaged? Not a whole lot. Let's get a turret here and a turret here. That's probably fine enough. And we need more depots. Burrow, burrow, burrow. I hope that's enough. I wonder if there's like a muta that comes over here. I'm going to drop one turret back there just in case. We'll do another turret right here. I figure these will potentially be useful later as well. So I'm not too upset having to buy them. So this is where I died before. If I can get past this, that means I am a state-sanctioned hero. Don't ask me which state is sanctioning me. Those little zergling waves harassing is actually pretty annoying. Oops, I messed up. Split. I don't see any mutas. Or did they fight the mutas already? That is two kills, so they probably did. Roaches are going down. Carapace is on the way. Try to keep these alive. And then let's grab the bonus. Right up here. Three colonists are dead. So we can sacrifice one more for the greater good. Let's unhockey these guys. Perfect. Sir, we just detected Zerg organisms entering the upper atmosphere. I can't give you an exact fix, but they're heading your We're way. We're going to use this guy as Depot Dave. We have another convoy ready to be escorted, Commander. Hmm. What else do we need to do? Probably some more random turrets, just for the sake of turreting. And then after the turrets start, we're going to head over here. At this point, our mineral line is just damage, guys, so I can rally everyone out. And it's a full saturation of damaged men. That's good. One thing I'm noting is how incredibly quickly the Firebat takes damage. Everyone's here. It's Let's supposed go. to be this incredibly durable tank, but my goodness, they just do not have the durability that they're trying to sell you on. Mineral field depleted. I mean, I knew that, but it's when you get this perspective, you know? Oh, I never got this. That would have been good. Okay, we're going to grab you here. Grab that. Oh, that's a drop pod. Got it. Burn through all of this, and we're going to have to take this squad and head north. There's... A muta just being a muta. <laughs> the marines are gone. Nope, one is still alive. Well, I will say that the decision at the end of this to pull the boys is going to be a very easy one. <laughs> and they might... Actually, no, they're going to be pretty bad. <laughs> They might actually not be good. Are they morphing Banes? What is happening? Uh, there is a complete wall here. Sweet God. Are you serious? I couldn't get by. Because they just morphed a bunch of... <sighs> and the thing got stuck on the cocoon so it wouldn't go. 
And now I'm going to have to do another... Oh, I did so well! And then just... Oh, Baneling's ruined another game of StarCraft. I really hate that unit. Oh. All right. Well, I am a little bit dead now. I really don't want to have to redo this again. We're almost done, Commander. Another convoy will be starting out soon. Yep. If that hadn't happened, the next convoy would have been enough. But no. Let's do this. Fight fire, ready to kick. Say the word. Mineral fields are depleting. My supply isn't very good. I'm gonna have to fight the Ultra ready to fry. in the last wave. Fueled. Oy, oy, oy. I wish that they had like a medicare or something. That would be really nice. Just, you know, for like this initial defense, put a medicare, medicare so I could send my guys back. Just anything small like that would really make this a lot more, a lot more good. Let's get these guys on gas and try my best. He can't really do anything against Banelings with the Fire Bat. Because, I mean, you can walk up to it, kind of, if the game lets you. But, not really. We have to get down there. That was pretty good. I'm just gonna assume that this Nidus doesn't make units anymore. It does. Well, maybe the Nidus's unload all their friends and then we'll be okay. I know that the Nidus's spawn like right here. So if I get my forces on top of it, then look at that DPS against that Nidus. Yeah, we did it. Then try to head up to the last area. The gun on the APC keeps pulling aggro. Base is under attack. I do have to remember that I don't have to like live very well on the last one. I just have to get a couple guys through. People have known since I was a little girl. What? Did they do it with it? That was a million corpses at once. That was another freaking Baneling. Don't put Banelings on this mission. Why would you ever do that? Ugh. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna load up from here and we're gonna see what we can do. Like, there's haha, ha, this is funny, and then there's just being a jerk about things. Oh, we gotta go way back now. That's so bad. Bring these down, Another these over here. Will be heading out soon. Because those guys died in an instant, I think. I didn't really get to see because I thought they would be safe, but I had looked at them only a couple seconds earlier and they were okay. And that was, what, 11 colonists in one shot? Or at least in that set of seconds. I'll be interested to see the VOD. But I'm like 98% sure that it was just a Baneling being like, Oh, well, I'm a Baneling! Hmm. I wonder if the Baneling morphing isn't actually intentional and it's actually a side effect of the other stuff that's going on. Like... I don't know, some dependency or something that had to be loaded and wasn't designed AI, because I'm pretty sure that they don't just randomly morph banelings in the middle of the road on the base game. So I'm going to assume that it's not intended, because that doesn't seem like a thing that you would add in on this mission specifically. One thing that 
is definitely difficult here as well is that if I had the ability to come back with better tech or something that would really help, that's kind of the way that I w it'd be ideal to play it. Um, but unfortunately, the Firebat is the Firebat is the Firebat, and it's not like I can get Firebat upgrades and then come over here. I have to beat this mission to get the Firebat, so the best I could do is get... Tech reactor? <laughs> Automated gas geyser, you know, the things that... Ah, oh, crap, I forgot about these. Oh, this is obnoxious. Getting a lot of people that are going to be employed as SCVs pretty soon. Come on. Congratulations on your promotion. We are going to get these two turrets here. They worked out great. It looks like there's no air units that come from down there, which is also nice. And I forgot to get that. Oh, do they really get that burning? That's a tough one. Sir, we just detected Zerg organisms entering the upper atmosphere. So drop pods are coming. Give you an exact fix, but they're heading your way. I guess that's how it goes: is it's mutas in this wave, then we have drop pods in the second, the and then nidises to end it. Send this guy into the blender, or the mineral line. I don't know why I just had such negative connotations to a mineral line. It'd be really cool if you could do stuff like load fire bats into your command center too. That would really add nothing, but I would like it. And then we gotta retire a couple more. At this point, I'm only retiring red ones. All the other ones need to get back to work. Let's go. Ready to fry. Boom. And we don't have time to get the third bonus objective. We can do it after this one. I have to be very, very cognizant of those banelings. I'm gonna save, and we're gonna see if we can make something happen here. Nope. Let's get this group for the front, this group for the back. Doesn't really work when they come from the side, but... That's pretty good. Turret is going to provide support in a sec. Let's get over here. I don't see it much. Stay in front, though. Very, very scary. Ah, okay. So we're going to join up right here with the big arc of fire. This mission is like Jay Burino sends his regards. Oh, ugh. So nothing landed and spawned banelings this time. I'm just going to throw that out there. I don't know what that was about that previous time. That was so odd. I've been having moments like that recently where just weird stuff has been happening while I've been playing that I don't understand. Uh, I don't know what's been going on. But it's really been uh, throwing me for a loop at times. Let's get the last bonus objective. Get this gas. Sir, I'm picking up seismic disturbances closing in on your position. I think it's some kind of tunneling, sir. Wonderful. It's just like it. keep things nice and interesting. Ready. We're almost done, Commander. Almost Another done. convoy will be starting out soon. This is the last convoy. We've only let one guy die. Which is incredible. I think we're gonna pull everything. It's a safe way to do it. 
Make sure all the creep is gone so they don't get those bonus move speeds and stuff. I'm gonna try to take out the creep up here if there are any tumors. I'm not sure that there are. I may have dealt with them. Yeah, okay. So it's just overlords now. They're hacking loogies onto the ground and turn it into creep. But with that area gone, it's fine. This area will also be gone. Yeah. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but as best as we can do. The back force is a little bit more wounded, so it's going to get some extra guys to help it out. 39 in the front, 27 in the back, and... If this mission's really hard, this is the best way to do it. Because it's almost always the second attack that gets you. These guys up here, can we fire from this ground? No. Average Baneling deal with him. Now get these guys into position for the next attack. So that we can take out that Nidus. Maybe we delete Frog right here. Or we use this one for the Nidus. Yeah, that works. That's enough. We're going to head this way now to block off. Take down the Nidus so it doesn't spawn anymore. I don't really care about the Muta. He's head this way. Let's go find wherever this monstrous baneling of doom and death is, who can murder 700 people in a single fell swoop. There was a Nidus up here last time. Yeah, it's this one. So, it the first thing it unloads is a baneling. That's what did it. There's a Nidus that pops out, unloaded one baneling, and killed all the guys in one shot. Ah. <sighs> That is so BM. That is so BM. It's the last Nidus of the last convoy. Well, we did it. We built engineering bays with fire bats. We built about 180 fire bats. And we have successfully beaten the mission. Wow. Fire bats are garbage. <laughs> Thank you guys once again for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you had a good time. I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.